Yeah, I think another ingredient that is very misunderstood and there's so much misunderstanding and confusion and even controversy sometimes surrounding vitamin C in a product. Yes. And we're pretty proud of our vitamin C. Yes. Talk to us about our vitamin C. So our vitamin C reversal serum is our best selling product. Um, I've said since the beginning that everybody can and should be using our vitamin C. And we utilize magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, which is considered to be an ester form. Um, I'm sure every esthetician has heard. And we also mention in a lot of our classes that uh, L-ascorbic acid specifically is the bio form of uh, vitamin C that is available to the body and to the skin as well. And almost all of the forms of vitamin C have to convert to L-ascorbic acid. The challenge with L-ascorbic acid, of course, is that it is notorious for oxidizing, especially in a finished product, an aqueous or water-based solution. So to get around that, manufacturers of ingredients started creating these different ester forms. And magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is, is one. We actually use five different forms of vitamin C in the, throughout the entire line. Uh, but magnesium ascorbyl phosphate is the one that we've used from the beginning. And I have to say, in a serum delivery, it's by far my favorite. Um, not only is it a very intelligent ingredient as far as the stability of the product, but also it has a very intelligent delivery system. The stability system for the product also works as part of the delivery system as well. And you can think of it as ascorbic acid molecule with magnesium and phosphate attached to either end. And we utilize magnesium and phosphate as part of this ingredient because those two materials account for about 2% of the water solubles of the stratum corneum. So when we have that ingredient applied to the surface of the skin, the slightly acidic pH of the stratum corneum will metabolize the magnesium and the phosphate off, and those in materials are used for other biosynthetic reactions within the skin. And then the ascorbic acid portion of that molecule is able to move through the layers of the skin and do all the things that vitamin C is supposed to do. It works as a free radical scavenger, tyrosinase inhibitor, helps with collagen production. So it works, again, not to stable, just to stabilize the product, but to help to deliver the ascorbic acid molecule into the skin. So it's very, very clever. And again, I would say probably as the water soluble form, the most effective form that uh, is available on the market. But you have sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which we also use, amino propyl ascorbyl phosphate, which is also extremely popular. We use that as well. Um, the oil soluble forms, which you'll find on the market and also in the Circadia products are things like tetrahexyl decal ascorbate, uh, which is also very nice to work with. Um, ascorbyl glucoside, which you find in a lot of our eye products, also in the Circadia line. Um, ascorbyl palmitate and ascorbyl tetraisopalmitate, which are kind of out of vogue now. You don't see them used too much in the industry, <clears throat> mainly because of the efficacy of the um, uh, tetrahexadecal uh, ascorbate. <laughs> Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, we really like the MAP, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate, because of the, not just the stability, but how effective it is as a delivery system as well.